Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my long-awaited fall home tour for the year 2018. I hope you guys are super excited to watch it and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get on to it. So I'll be starting off here in my kitchen and on the counters, as you guys know, I don't like to have a lot of clutter. So I have a pitcher full of greenery that is from Michaels. And then the eucalyptus in there is from Walmart. I have this yum sai from Hobby Lobby on top of my stove. And then my dish towels are from TJ Maxx. And over here on this other countertop, I have the gather around sign from Hobby Lobby covering my outlet. And then on this cake stand that I got at Target, I had this little like topiary of pumpkins that I got at Marshall's with the candle and then in my little caddy I have my way done pumpkin dish with some cooking books and some vintage utensils and cutting boards and then I just added a pumpkin and some greenery to give it a little bit more of a fall touch so for any of my first time watchers um, my theme is definitely decorating with lots of greenery, creams, mints, blues, greens, all of that and I just love using those colors for the fall time and year round. So I didn't go ahead and add any seasonal decor to my walls or on top of my fridge so I will go ahead and leave my video linked down below where I went ahead and went over with you guys all of my recent kitchen updates but moving on to the side of the counter I just have my wax warmer melts in there in my little plug-in and then I have a little dish towel on that hook and then I got this home sweet home rug from TJ Maxx and I really love this rug it's very comfortable and it just makes washing dishes a little bit better and then over here on this counter space, I have this little plant that I got at TJ Maxx. The Harvest Home Sign is from Hobby Lobby. I am burning a pumpkin spice candle. And then this little pumpkin jar is from TJ Maxx along with the little stand that they're both sitting on. So here's an overview of what this side of the kitchen looks like. In a previous video, I went ahead and decorated this kitchen shelf and also my coffee bar. And I will go ahead and leave that video linked down below. That way it just doesn't get super repetitive. And I'm going to go ahead and move on into my kitchen table and what I did as a centerpiece there. So back in the springtime when Hobby Lobby was having their spring sale, I went ahead and picked up this dough bowl for I think less than $5. And I just added some pumpkins in there from the Target Dollar Spot with some greenery. And then this is what my hutch and my coffee bar look like. I will go ahead and switch it up for Halloween and then also one more time for Thanksgiving but this is how it's going to stay for the fall time and then all I did at the very top was just add a whole bunch of pumpkins that are either from Marshalls, TJ Maxx and then I think that black and white one is from Dollar Tree. I have this little turkey that is from Marshalls and then I have my birdhouses and the eucalyptus garland is from Hobby Lobby. For everything inside of my hutch, I just went ahead and spread out my all of my collection and I decided to put in the pieces that I thought went really well for either the fall time or like Thanksgiving or just autumn in general. And I used lamb's ear and then those white pumping, pumpkin clips from Dollar Tree to just kind of fill in the empty spots that I have. So I know I did go ahead and record myself decorating my coffee bar but I did find some recent items and I decided to redecorate it a little bit just because I had to switch some things around. So I decided to get rid of the pumpkin garland that I had on there and I replaced it with this little wood garland that I had that I made and then I put some lambs here. Everything else pretty much stayed the same on there but I did add in here my two tier tray that I got at Hobby Lobby. And since I was finding new items every day, I decided just to go ahead and put it over here. And that way I can go ahead and display a little bit more. So I have this morning pumpkin tumbler. And then I have my fresh milk 
sign on there as well and I just have pumpkins on the bottom with my happy pumpkin spice season sign from Michaels and that's it everything else pretty much stayed the same so that is it for the kitchen part we're gonna go ahead and move on into my living room which is not much it's just my mantle and my coffee table so this is kind of what this color scheme looks like. I decided just to add a lot of greenery again and adding some of the green pumpkins, cream. So all of the greenery is from Joann's and then a couple of them are from Hobby Lobby. The green pumpkins are from the Target Dollar Spot. The white one is from Michaels and then the shutters are also from Michaels and I have those up there year round along with the wreath. I just decided to tie some black and white ribbon on there to kind of give it a fall look and then the black candlesticks are from TJ Maxx and then on this side I have the exact same thing going on. For my coffee table, I wanted to go ahead and keep it super simple just because we do watch TV so I can't have anything super high up because it will constantly make us moving, be moving it back and forth. So I just added some greenery from the Target Dollar Spot along with some of their pumpkins that they have this year. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a panel of the rest of my living room and on my couches I just decided to go ahead and have a throw blanket on there and then the little pillow that I got from the Target dollar spot. I am still looking for some white pillows to go ahead and set on there but for now this is what it looks like. And then on my Hobby Lobby pills that I have in my living room I decided to add this little centerpiece or arrangement and it's just a eucalyptus from Walmart with the stems from Michaels. And that is it for this year's fall tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below of what was your favorite. And I'll see you guys until my next video. Bye guys.